Okay, here we go, you guys. These muscles across the chin are the Milohyoid. Milohyoid. Then we have this big shoulder muscle. It's kind of going across the chest and up by the shoulders. These ones. Deltoids. Deltoids. Again, if you rotate, you can see it from the back because you can, again, see that it kind of goes over the top of the arm. So that's the deltoid. Okay, big deltoids. Then we have these. There's three of them across the chest twice and down towards the belly. That would be, again, you can see here, I can separate them real nice. You have top one, next one, and this one going down the side. All of these are pectoralis, which are the pecs, okay, pectoralis. Then we have the sides. The sides are always external obliques. Then we have the six pack. Rectus abdominis. Rectus abdominis. Then we have what's running down the middle. This line is called? Linea alba. Linea alba. Now, what color is that line? Dark. Yours should look like a bluish color, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. That means, what do you think is running? What is uh, linea alba? Uh, it's a vein that runs right through the middle of their rectus abdominis muscles. Okay? All right. Now, if we go down further, you should have, again, this thigh that looks just like this beautiful thigh diagram here. Okay? And you should have this, bot we'll work thigh going up. Bottom one, gracilis. Minor. Minor. Big one above it. Gracilis. Major. Triangular one right here. Conductor. Magnus. Adductor magnus. Again, you can see it more clearly when I pull up this one. You can see the triangle right there. Who is this skinny one across the top? Sartorius. Sartorius is this one. And Sartorius is covering which big top muscle? Adductor longus. Adductor longus. Then we go down to the bottom, to the calf. Calf is still, big one, gastrocnemius, behind the bone, tibialis, posterior. Then we have, again, if I kind of pull my finger here and I rotate, in the front is a capital A, comes to a sharp, tibialis anterior, like a capital A. If I follow my probe all the way up at tibialis anterior to the top of the A, and I stab in towards the bone, I have a tiny knee muscle. Extensor, Extensor crurus. 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 Extensor crurus. Okay. Again, gastrocnemius is held by what thick tendon? Achilles tendon. Achilles tendon. Excellent. Let's rotate to the other side. If we go to the other side, we pull out the arm again, the bottom muscle arm. It's the same as the back. It's called an conius, which would be this one right here. Oops. Let me rotate my little diagram here. Again, if you... How can I do this? There we go. If I pull out the arm, this one right here, bottom one, same as this bottom one, and conius. Okay. Then we go down here to our thigh. This is where we're going to see the deeper muscles. Again, let's go through the ones we s that are tiny. Gracilis, minor. Big one, gracilis, major. major. Above it, adductor, magnus. 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 The skinny one that's a flap, sar, torius. I'm going to pull it back. It reveals the big muscle on the top, which is adductor longus. longus. Now, in our diagram here, you'll see there's two little triangular muscles in between adductor longus and adductor magnus. You have to pull apart these two big muscles. And theirs is very pretty. Again, if you pull them apart, you can see I can just clearly separate this triangular one from that one. Top one is pectineus. One below it is? Adductor, adductor brevis. Adductor brevis. Okay. Then we go down here between our adductor magnus and our, who's this big one? Gracilis major. If I simply just pull them apart, I should see a thin muscle sitting right in between them. Who is Se this muscle right in between them? Semitendinosis. Semitendinosis. Okay. And that's it for belly muscles.